sitting around here for an hour. Like a lot of vultures. You're one bird that can go home. You know everything, don't you? I'm the secretary. A will is not a will until it's signed. Why do you suppose that old buzzard is making so much sound when he was signing his will? Robert, I wish you wouldn't talk that way about your Uncle Silas. You know, he always has a reason for everything he does. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. Lane. Who the devil has been in here? Uh, nobody, sir. I don't know. What's happened to my medicine? It's empty. Where's Dr. Billy? He's upstairs, sir. He ain't with the others, sir. Is everybody here? Yeah, sir. Well, what are you standing there for? Yeah, sir. I'll answer it. He, all of you, and you in particular. I'm going to have you arrested. No, no. Uncle Silas, don't get excited. It's bad for you. Why, what's wrong anyway? Some one of you has stolen the candle. There it is, right on the table. A fake. A cheap imitation. Glass. I suppose I know glass when I see it. Why, it is softer than that paperweight there. You're mistaken. Only a real jewel could cut glass that way. I guess I was a little hasty, Claude. Forgive me for not trusting you. Put it in the safe.
Anything else, sir? No, that's enough. I misjudged you. <laughs> You're a good boy, Clark. You tell the others that I will send for them in a few minutes. And I shall remember you. In fact, you're going to be surprised when you learn what is in store. You're not like the rest of them. A pack of wolves circling around a dying man. Hello. Operator, give me police headquarters. Police headquarters. Send some officers to the home of Silas Wayne, 111 Green Place. At once. Somebody here send for the police? Yeah. Where is he? Just follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wayne is up there. Did you put in the call? Yes. I sent for the police. Somebody's going to be arrested tonight. What for? Why? In due time. Sit down. Wait here. That's what he is. Yeah, crazy like a fox. He owns half the town. Yeah? Oh. Hey, where's my medicine? Why haven't you brought it to me? You're late. The doctor. He's fixing it himself. Uh, I'll bring you down in a minute. Well, hurry. Jeff. Jeff. Oh, I'm coming. Uh, 
I'm ready for the family. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Mr. Wayne is ready for y'all now. I wish it were his funeral. I hope you get your wish. Sit down, all of you. Right. I wonder which one wins the bracelet. Good evening, Dr. Bailey. Good evening. Delighted to look upon your faces. But you're all I've got. And a man must do the best he can with what fate has thrust upon him through no fault of his own. Hmm. Young man. Might I suggest that you adopt a little more pleasant expression? One that would perhaps show a little anticipation. Well, I suppose it's no good mincing matters. You are all my relatives. You all hate me. But you all want my money. And the law says I must give it to you or prove that I'm not insane. <laughs> As though it were sanity to leave money to a pack of vultures. I'm a rich man. But when I look into your faces, I realize how poor I am. For when a man reaches the end of his life without someone to love him, he is poor. Even though it be Silas Wayne who merged transcontinental amalgamated. Uncle Silas, I don't want anything if you feel that way about it. Why, I'd rather have your good opinion than your money. Well, now, that's nice of you, Claude. Perhaps I haven't appreciated you. And perhaps I have. And maybe you'll be surprised before the night's over. There's nothing to worry about. He's had these attacks before. What kind of attack? The heart. We better get him into bed. Pardon me. Oh, look. 
It's murder. No orders to leave this room. Give me police headquarters. Yeah, well, you better get him down here right away. Okay. Keep the house well guarded. Don't let anybody in or out. Hello, Kelly. Cheerful place, isn't it? Not so cheerful on the second floor. There's something funny about this whole thing. Hello, Doc. Got your note? Yep. Murder. Plenty of your witnesses. Here's the knife. Have that analyzed, Doc. All right. You can have him now. Very well. All right, boys. You may take him out. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated as you were. I've had enough of this room. Why do we have to stay here? Lock him up. Yes, sir. I've got a feeling he's the guy we've been promised. He'll obey. Okay, boys. Are there any other objections? Yes. She sat here. No, I did not. No. Let's get along with this business. She's not well. All right. I'll begin with you. What's your name? Bailey. Dr. Bailey. Is Silas Wayne your patient? Yes, for the past six months. Did you know him before that? Yes. His housekeeper has been a patient of mine since my early practice. And she recommended you to Mr. Wayne? Well, I happened to be present during one of his attacks. Mm -hmm. He was a confirmed bachelor, wasn't he? Yes. Now, doctor... Do you suspect anybody? Well, it must have been done by someone in this room. You're right. But you have a suspicion. I'd rather not answer.
Silas Wayne had strong likes and dislikes, didn't he? Well, he was known to be eccentric. But he liked you. He had reason to retain me as his physician. I think that'll be all, Doctor. Would you mind waiting in the hall? You were Mr. Wayne's housekeeper? Yes, I'm the chief. Mr. Wayne planned to cause an arrest here tonight. Do you know who it might have been? No, sir. How long were you in Mr. Wayne's service? Thirty-five years. Thirty-five years. It's a long time. A lifetime. Sorry, boys. I got orders. No one's to go in. Who are you? I'm... I'm the widow. Thanks, Bill. Toodles in the journal. Dry yet, young. What chance has a guy got with a game like that around? Don't worry about that stuff, sister. Well, kid, if there's anything hot inside, she'll give us the lowdown. You know, that picture made me so nervous. I could scream with all these silly questions. Well, what did you talk so much for? You notice Claude didn't come free with all we know about him. You know, I think he knows more about that old miser's business than any of us. I think he has something up his sleeve. Yeah. And as long as he's talking so much, I think I'll have a little talk with him. That'll be all. For the present. Keep your eye on them. I'm going to take another look around, and I want to be alone. Yes, sir. Somebody. Not for you. Not for you. Yes? Yeah. I'll see to that. A threat? A promise. Hello, Nosey. Right back at you, Blackfoot. 
How did you get in? You're a detective. And you're asking me? You still know all the answers, hey? Uh-huh. All but the one you like. Come on, fade it, fade it. It's news you're after, not me. Now, look here. I'm here on behalf of a million readers who want to know. Stick around and watch me find out. Listen, Nosy, I'm serious. Run along, will you? I'm here to find a murderer. Well, I've got to print something. How's this? Silas Wayne mysteriously stabbed to death while nine people looked on, two of whom were cops. You would. I suppose the taxpayers will pin medals on him for that. Well, do I print it? You stay. But don't bother me. I'll ignore it. What's the matter, Jeff? You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, yeah but uh, I've seen a ghost or something, Mr. Claus. Uh, I, don't, I don't like it in this house. Well, there's too many, too many of them iron gentlemen in this house. Uh, he's harmless, Jeff. Just one of the old belted earls. Yeah, 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 yeah but, but who, who belted him? No, no, not that kind of a knight. A knight in armor. A god for the king. You mean you mean a night night guard like like a night watchman? I I don't want him watching after me. There's nothing to worry about. He's been dead for five hundred years. Dead for five hundred years? Are you still here? Well, let me see that will. Oh, you're holding out on me. Brian! Kelly! Round that bunch up. I want to see everybody in the living room. Yes, sir. In the ice box. Well, give it to me. That's it. Uh, round everybody up and get them in the living room. And uh, stay away from that ice box. That's it. How'd you like to get arrested? Are you proposing? It's no use. I've tried that. What you need is a good spanking. Proposing again? Downstairs for you. The inspector wants to see you. I'll be down in a minute.
me that two and three will play square with us? Sure, she's a swell kid. Well, I hope you're right. Plenty of motives in this well. Possibly human. I'm keeping my eyes open for reaction. Claude Wayne. I saw him a few minutes ago. He said he'd be right down. Well, find him. Ryan, see if you can find that guy. I'm sure you will be interested to know what Silas Wayne was going to say to you tonight. The will he had prepared has been found. Fortunately, or unfortunately, as the case may be, the will was not signed. The first name mentioned is Sarah Bolter. To you, Sarah Bolter, he intended to leave $100,000 upon the birth of your first child. Yes, pardon me. We could never have a child. Don't look at me. The next one mentioned is Miss Sheen. To you and your children, he bequeathed the Candor Diamond. It's always brought bad luck. No, no, you must control yourself. She's terribly upset. Perhaps you permit her to retire. It won't take much longer, then you can all get some rest. Have you any children, Miss Shane? One. But why do you ask? It has nothing to do with this. Nothing, I assure you. Ask her about her husband. Miss Sheen, where is your husband? He's dead. <clears throat> the next bequest concerns Gloria Dryden. The entire residue of the estate was to go to her on condition that she does not marry Robert Wayne. And to Robert Wayne, one dollar was to be bequeathed. He thought he was going to take you away from me. I knew he wouldn't be able to. Please, Robert. At least we can be thankful the will wasn't signed. Why keep that girl bottled up in this joint? She couldn't have had anything to do with the old man's death. Getting soft, eh? Just like a woman. Can I help it if you're blind? Someday you'll find out I'm always right. Here he is. I don't know, Mr. Policeman. You're colorblind. Come on. Can I go now? No, come down here. I know, but, 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 but I, I ain't done nothing. Look, no time wasted here. He certainly must have been rushed not to take that bag with him after packing it. Honest, Sarge, I don't see how he can get out of this house. All our boys are still on the job. I suspect everybody in this room. Till I find a guilty person, no one leaves. He 
he's gone. Tell the men outside to keep an eye open. Yes, sir. I told you he had something up his sleeve, didn't I? Claude will never get away. Took a run out powder on you, huh? An overdose. But I expected as much. Read that. I'm going. Where are you going? With you. You're not going with me. You better get back to your paper and write up your story. Don't worry. I'll make the first edition with the glaring headlines and his voice of that demon sleuth, Flatfoot Nick. What's the lowdown? Now, boys, I can't tell you a thing like it back from headquarters. Any clues yet? Oh, come on, open up. Do you really want to know? I'll say. You boys will find out all about it when you read the morning journal. Pop in, Nosy. Are you trying to get rid of me? Well, run along now. Come back in the morning and I'll show you the murder. I'm promising a solution on the front page. Get a copy. You're promising. I'm promising. Good night, Nosy. Nighty night. Bad dreams. Oh, I never dream of you. Well, as long as we can't leave this house, I'm going to get some sleep. All right.
Claude Wayne. Doctor. Dead. And has been for several hours. Obviously, it was caused by strangulation. Send for the coroner. Ryan, untie that knot. Yes, sir. I can't do it. It's a sailor's knot. You try it, Bolter. You came back to do some private investigating. Well, get this. I don't need any help from the press. Well, then maybe you can help the press. Who's the killer? He's in this house. And I'm sticking here till I get him. By that time, you'll both die of old age. What a pal. By the way, what was the coroner's report? Silas Wayne's death was caused by the dagger. The sediment in the bottom of the glass I found on the desk was merely a harmless sedative. I'm beginning to love you. Go on. That's all for publication. Oh, I take it back. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I'm going home, sir. Uh, you're going where? Uh, I'm going home to Alabama, sir. Well, you can't leave here, Jeff. You're a material witness. Yeah, sir, but, but I know if, if I keep on seeing you and seeing them spooks, there, there ain't going to be no material left, sir. <clears throat> Why, uh, Jeff, you're just seeing things. You run along upstairs and go to bed. Uh, yeah, sir, I know, but I, I don't want to see any of those scared to death, huh? Well, do something. Do what? There's a bottle of smelling salts in the library desk. Get it. Not so fast. What have you got in your hand? Nothing. Oh, don't, don't, please don't take that from me. Oh, you don't, you don't know how cruel he is. He deserves to die. He beats me. I warn you. Oh, I'm not afraid. 
just to have to live here with me is worse than anything that could happen to me. When I looked on his vicious old face, I said, I'm glad you're dead. I'm glad, glad. <laughs> Just in time, Dr. Bailey. Little surprise party. This is a surprise. Hello. Toodle speaking. Get this headline. It's hot. Of course it's a Wayne murder case. Ready? Silas Wayne Kilbar. His son. Dr. Bailey. Hold everything. I knew Silas Wayne wasn't supposed to be married, but he was. Dr. Bailey was brought into this house by Miss Shane, his mother, and Silas Wayne's wife. Is that authentic? Exhibit A, the birth certificate. Motive. Vengeance. Dr. Bailey bitterly hated Silas Wayne for the way he treated his mother. But how was the crime committed? Well, Dr. Bailey put a sleeping potion in Silas Wayne's medicine... Oh. Why, Mr. Wayne? What's, what's happening? What's the matter? What is it, Mr. Wayne? Mr. Wayne, what? Well, there's nothing to worry about. You had attacks like this before. What kind of attack? The heart. We better get him into bed. Pardon me. Oh, oh good look. heaven! And here's another item to perk up your circulation. Stephen Bolter tried to murder Gloria Dryden. His obvious motive was to eliminate all the heirs so his wife could inherit the Wayne fortune. What lodge does this represent? Where did he get that? He got it from Claude Wayne. Well, I saw him have it in the library. Why did you refuse to take it down? That stone was an imitation put there by Claude Wayne. He stole the real one. And you killed him. Because Claude Wayne was the only person that knew the secret of your parenting.
That's right. Don't forget to give all the credit to Mitchell. He's, well, he's a dear. Hey, Nosy. Was that last authentic? Mm-hmm. Flatfoot. I've been holding out on you. 